Hey guys, first off, happy new year, and I hope that 2023 goes amazingly for you. So you know Spotify Wrapped, which is that thing that Spotify does at the end of the year, where they show the listener a summary of what artists they listen to over the last 12 months. Well, I want to do something similar for this human -y YouTube channel, which has been around since August 2017, so that's about five and a half years. So let's show a history of the 30 most viewed human -y YouTube videos over time. This is human -y YouTube Wrapped 2022. And by the way, I'm using this new data visualization I created called a barrier path, which I'll talk about in more detail on my Abacaba YouTube channel later. The first video, hi, is uploaded. It's really funny because I can really clearly picture in my head being back in that Los Angeles apartment with my brother Michael and just coming up with this idea of a new channel and trying to figure out, out what name I should call it and just thinking that, well, for BFDI characters, I often just took the name of an object. Harry reacts to BFB episode 1, overtakes, hi. I often just took the name of an object, such as a coin, and I would add a Y at the end to make it coiny, just to make it sound cuter or more like a name. So that's how a lot of the characters were named and I just thought, well, I'm a human. BFB5 behind the scenes. Carrie voices his lineys, overtakes. Carrie reacts to BFB episode 1. So if I follow the same system naming myself, then I should be human E. 10,000 subscribers. We got coin E, rock E, wood E. I'm human E. But what's funny is that over all these years, now when I hear that word in my head, I instantly think of just the channel of videos. And I sort of forget that BFDI is where it came from. Human E's channel total reaches 1 million views. By the way, the videos on the screen are colored based on what year they came out in. So 2017 videos are colored red, 2018 videos are colored orange, and so on. Also, the thickness of the brown barriers in between the videos tells you how big the gap is between those videos' view counts. So if the brown barrier looks really, really tiny, it means those videos are really close and perhaps they could swap in the near future. Carrie's BFB6 behind the scenes, more recording of lovely lineys, overtakes BFB5 behind the scenes, Carrie voices his lineys. There are no 2017 videos in the top three, thanks to two trucks having fun. Next, I want to talk about the fact that I created this human -y YouTube channel to be a garbage dump of lower quality random content, such as me eating strawberries or me filming my cats playing around. A bunch of you lovely viewers, such as Pin Not Animations, pointed this out in the comments of my last video. I just think the internet is so fascinating that this is a place where I could upload, I don't know, a video of me just clapping? And a hundred thousand of you signed up for that type of content. So thank you for putting up with the sloppiest, most genuine form of carry, you know? Two trucks having fun, overtakes. Carrie's BFB6 behind the scenes, more recording of lovely lineys. But there has been a tone shift in the last year, 2022, that I want to talk about. 2 million views. You now need 10,000 views to break into the top 30, thanks to the video called Carrie and Michael React to BFB13. So a lot of the content I uploaded to Humany in 2022 really sort of pushed the boundary of what counts as Humany content such as the soundboard videos or when I live stream playing games with Catherine, or even the independent short animations like Blue Leafy Green Fiery. I feel like a lot of those were more polished for what I expected from Humany, and going into 2023, I want to scale back and return Humany to the garbage dump it started as, so that I can focus my efforts on channels like Jack and Jellyfy and Carrie KH. 20,000 subscribers. That's also why I wanted to upload this Humany wrapped video now, because Humany grew a lot in 2022 because of the better content and all you viewers joining, and I don't expect it to to grow much in the years to come if I return to uploading random footage of whatever. I actually think it's really fun. It means that we've built this tight-knit community that's like insular from the outside scary world, you know? Anyway, at this point in the time-lapse video, we've reached the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, and the 2020 videos are being shown in a darker green color. Because we were releasing BFB episodes more frequently here, I was uploading more BFB reaction videos, which did pretty well. So you're gonna start to see green flood the charts. Thanks to the video called, there was BFB in 2011, you now need 20,000 views to break into the top 30. 30,000 subscribers. Thanks to Google Translate for the lovely text-to-speech. There are no 2017 videos in the top 5. Thanks to Carrie Reacts to BFB22. 5 million views. I remember I was talking to a college friend near the beginning of 2018. 40,000 subscribers. And I was remarking to him that my garbage dumping channel 
was getting close to 10,000 subscribers and he thought Thanks to the video call, they see me rolling. You now need 50,000 views to break into the top 30. He thought that was just ridiculous. And we're both joking that like, wow, a garbage dump channel reaching five digits. There's no way it's going to reach six digits. You would need to put effort into a channel to get it to six digits. There are no 2017 videos in the top 10. Thanks to Carrie reacts to Teapot 1. 50,000 subscribers. Now we're at six digits, so I got to call up that old college friend and remind them that they talked smack 10 million views to me and they were wrong and they need to eat their own words because now I'm right. Um, 60,000 subscribers. BFDIK at stake song played on cat keyboard in Japan. Overtakes, two trucks having fun. No, I'm just joking about all this, of course. One reason I really like this coloring scheme of the videos that I did is because it shows some weird intricacies of the YouTube algorithm. For example, just a few seconds ago, you saw this yellow video, the one of me playing the BFDIK at stake song on a cat keyboard, rise to first place. But because it's yellow, that means it's a video that came from 2019, which is at this point two years ago. At this point in the video, you would expect blue videos, the ones from 2021, to be the ones to rise to the top and replace the yellow videos, but that just isn't the case. And as we all know now, this is because the YouTube algorithm is very strange and it will suddenly revive very old dormant videos, dumping millions of views to them. We have 10 greens and 10 blues in the top 30, which means two thirds of the top 30 came in the last two years. 15 million views, 70,000 subscribers. In this visualization, I'm putting a label on both YouTube shorts and YouTube live streams. Because those types of content are so different from normal videos, I almost feel like comparing view counts is comparing apples to oranges. There are no 2017 videos in the top 15, thanks to playing BFDI Friday Night Funkin'. The first video high falls out of the top 30. You now need 100,000 views to break into the top 30. Thanks to the video, playing Find the Markers with Alex. At this point, we're getting close to Teapot 2's release, which was June 2022, and around the same time I started the whole soundboard video project. So we're gonna see a flurry of new purple videos on stage. 80,000 subscribers. There are no 2017 videos in the top 20. Thanks to Tennis Ball soundboard video. 20 million views. There are no 2017 videos in the top 25. Thanks to BFDI Coiny versus Honey Coiny. 90,000 subscribers. I'm still really happy with the fact that I think three live streams and two shorts made into the top 30, which means everyone's getting representation. Also, earlier I said I wanted to scale back on higher production videos like Blue Leafy Green Fiery, but that doesn't mean I don't want to make them or upload them. I've just been thinking- You now need 150,000 views to break into the top 30, thanks to the video called Blue Leafy Green Fiery. 100,000 subscribers, 25 million views. I've just been thinking, why not upload them to Jack and Jellyfy instead? There are no 2017 videos in the top 30, thanks to Forspells the Alphabet soundboard video. Sure, those videos might be less than a minute long, but there's no rule set in stone that says that your largest channel can't have short videos on it, right? So let's spread the wealth and keep the high quality videos on the high quality channel and the low quality videos on the low quality channel. Anyway, that's it for the time lapse. We're here at the present day in January 2023. And here's the most surprising fact to me. What was once the poster child of Humany videos, which was Carrie reacts to BFB1, is now no longer in the top 30. That means 30 videos have surpassed it in getting views, which I just never thought would happen. It happened right before Christmas 2022. So now we're here with 30 videos that are from 2018 or later. Anyway, thank you all for coming along this human-y journey with me and watching this experimental data visualization slash time lapse slash rewind video. I always love being a little retrospective and looking back to the past. And that's about it. By the way, I won't do any more YouTube channel wrapped videos videos in the future, like in 2023 or anything, because this was just a one-time video project. But it was a really fun experiment. Thank you for watching and goodbye.